now. During this demo we're going to make some Byzantine weave earrings and amethyst. Lovely. They're with sterling silver. Actually you can tell black by the luster can't you? They're stunning. So the Byzantine bit is the weave in the middle. Um, so we're going to create that. You can use this to make um, bracelets, very very popular bracelets, necklaces, such a popular weave. So we're going to move those to one side. So each of these sections uses 18 of your jump rings and you're using your inner diameter 5 mil jump rings and a pair of earring wires. And the only other thing I've got is some um, featherweight head pins just to, to create the drops for the amethyst. So we're going to start off with two of the jump rings. You'll need some flat nose plier some uh, chain nose or bent pliers um, and some cutters and some round nose pliers to do your loops. Now I have got, the eagle eyes of you will already have spotted the copper jump rings. The only reason I've put these in here is to hopefully make it a bit clearer during the demo. So we're going to start off just adding, closing one of the jump rings and adding three we're adding three of our um, next jump rings. So we're just adding three to that loop when they get snagged. So we've got three in one. Obviously use two jump rings if you're comfier. I'm quite happy with these with my hand, but you've still got to make sure that it shuts flush. Okay. So once you've got your three, we're now starting the Byzantine weave. Now, one way to do it is you can add on, if you want, a piece of wire to here to give yourself something to hang on to. So we're going to put the next layer, and I'll do it in copper so you can see. So we're going to add in two coppers for the next layer. I mean, these two colours work so well together, but... But predominantly, uh, I, um, I've done them in the sterling silver. All right, so that's two of the copper jump rings. And then we want another two. Traditionally, with um, Byzantine, you'd have three sets of two to begin with. And I've done a set of three just to give it a slightly different decorative edge at the end. So it would be two by two by two. So there's our first chain we've got the three sets now we're going to hold on to these three at the bottom we're going to flip out those two silvers open up the two coppers and push the bottom silvers up through so those can you see how the top two we've we've inverted those top two um silver be uh, jump rings and now we're going to catch those jump rings, just those two silver ones from the middle. And we're going to catch those with another two jump rings. So we're going to pop those in there. Let me pull that out. There we go. So these are quite thin jump rings. Um, they're an eight gauge, not quite thin, they're an eight gauge, they're perfectly acceptable. Um, but that's why it sort of jumped back up there. It will hold perfectly well. So you can see how these two jump rings have flipped over backwards. So that's the first half of our Byzantine. So we're going to add in another two pairs. So we're going to go silver. Silver. So that's the first pair and two coppers okay so we're now back to having our three pairs three sets of pairs we're going to flip those two copper out and open the silver so we open and we flip the copper back, open up the silver. You can see those two copper, that's what we're going to catch now. So we're going to pick up a couple of 
Yeah. Those two cut back. Let me hold it in the right place. I'm trying to direct it at the camera and not have it in a natural place. That's the first one. And the second one. And we want a third one to go in here. So this is this is the the reverse of the the bottom that we did. I miscounted. So we want that third one. If you get out of place, just pull those um, ones out. And there we go. And then we're going to go through there with our other one and then we're going to put our one on the top so if you were doing um a byzantine bracelet when you get to this stage you then add your next lot of two let me just and there we go helps if you fasten it so here you'd have three then another two and another two and you'd start this bit again so you start that there we go and there's your byzantine weave and because you've got the copper it, it shows up really nicely um, so with this one i would just add on our amethyst on that side now i put five on that the original one and then open up this jump ring and add on your earring finding and that gives you your earrings 